Wow, that's crazy. Let's go. So where are we cooking today? Right, so today we're gonna to be doing lobster perfume because the way that we created the dish, yep. it's inspired by perfume making. If you're good at your job, you would never be jobless as a chef. But you're still in love. I love the job, but I was so shit at it that you know it made me doubt myself whether I could do it. I was the world's worst coming. When I became a full-time chef, oh, that was hard. The days I want to quit, the days I want to give up, the, and there's been so many, I, I can't. Even you know, like the days I'm crying in, in, my, in my one bedroom studio and I'm sharing a room with like seven guys, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? If I just picked up the phone, call resigned, call my parents up, they would have been fine with it. I know them, they're, they're, they're that supportive, but I didn't. Everything else is easy now. So we separate the claws from the big, the small claws and the body. Bit of the lobster has a cooking time that we want to be very, very precise. Juicy. Yes. <laughs> so what's that juice from? It's just a condensation of the, the, the lobster. Oh my god. Not fully cooked. Not fully cooked, yes. We want that, we want that. So what pushed you through? Doubt. That doubt. Like, you had that doubt. To be what? honest, my mom. Seriously, I, I could not face going back to my mom and being like, yeah, I made a mistake. I fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go <laughs> yeah, back yeah. to university now, I get stay it. in a nice cozy house. I you like know. it. I was like, no, 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 I, yeah. I can't. I've already said to her that I'm going to do this. Yeah. I, I, I gotta do this and I, I gotta make something out of myself. So this is um, the preparation of our salad. This is what goes at the bottom. The ingredients are really, really simple. Wow. But when you add them all up and when you try it later, you know, it creates something really unique and complex. I You're getting all the secrets, huh? I wanted to inspire those who are also at home, maybe have a similar goals and dreams and mm. going through a similar path where you are today, you were in their shoes before. Yeah, yeah. Make an impact for, for, for these people. I, I, I think it will. I was a completely clueless teenager. I came yes. from like the bottom end of the barrel to like extreme riches and I didn't work for it. And they knew that I had to be slapped out of this non-reality, so which London. was the best thing. The best thing for me was I left. I left Phuket, I left that lifestyle. The pressure is high. I washed my hands already. Germ free, bacteria free. All right, here we go. So the first thing I remember was this. Well, no, first is the avocado cream. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. My dad was like, okay, you know, let's move you to England. Okay. They literally sat me down and be like, by the way, in six weeks time, you're going to England. Being Thai, speaking English, I did what everyone does. Yes. You know, every kid from international school, I think the safety choice course university is hospitality management. Okay, okay, okay. So for avocado clean. Yes, yeah, so we put about 15 grams. And then you have the lobster coral salad. Yes. I would say put uh, a full a full thin spoon. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, looking, okay. Looking good. Did my grades. I got into university. The summer of 2008, I went into the kitchen uh, for two weeks. And the sous chef just, you know, he, he put on a plate uh, just a, a spoon of mash and some, uh, some jus on it. He's like, here, try this. And I had it and I was like, oh my God, this is witchcraft. Like it was like, the best mashed potato I've ever had in my life. You know, there was so much butter in it. I could have a heart attack right there. And <laughs> yeah. But I was like, I want to make this. I want to, I want to learn how to do this, you yeah. know? And then, and then you take the this. Salad, yes. Salad, right? You drain out the excess. Because every time you dress fruits with the sugar and salt, a bit of his natural juices come out as well. Okay, so I put it right Yep, here. press it down a little bit. I had no idea the culture of the kitchen. It's very Wild West, you know, everyone's got their own store, you know, you have like a dodgy Russian, uh, Polish guy who's probably here illegally there. You have a French sous chef who, you know, who has like six arms. Yes. And can do things at like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> and then there's me, this Thai guy in a random uh, retirement home, like, you know, what's he doing here? So I wrote a chef a letter, you know, I wrote him a letter, I wore a suit, uh, you know, to, to ask for a job. So I showed up, you know, six o'clock in the morning, yep. sharp, because that's when he starts. Yep. And then uh, he looks at me and goes, what are you wearing? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm applying for a job. Mm -hmm. He's like, a job? What, what, what job? I go, oh, I was running, I could uh, join your kitchen. Yeah. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure, just go get change. Mm -hmm. And that was it. I was like, what? So yeah. I was like, I'll do this for three months and see how it goes. That was the original plan. And my parents were so okay with that. Okay. And then two weeks in and I'm hooked. I'm hooked. It was like a drug. The rush of service, the camaraderie between the staff and everything. It was, I was like, wow. So try to put one by one. So that way you, you space out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would give that seven out of 10. Not bad, not bad for a first try. Seven out of 10. Yeah. Come on, that's at least a 9.5. No, 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 no. And when university came about, 
you oh decide- I didn't wait that long I didn't wait that long two weeks I knew that I had to tell my parents wow and that's when I started to shit myself two yeah. weeks in you, two weeks in two weeks in after working you made a choice I, I made a choice I knew I knew I knew there and then so the, kitchen, dropped out the kitchen was where I belong yeah 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 and what did they say my mom was really upset she might never admit it but I knew without having her to say it and a, but a part of me knew that you know if I went to university for her I would be going for the wrong reasons so this is it and wow. lastly finish off with the uh, cameo I got it give it a go worst case I'll just suck it up with my mouth That's a 9 out of 10, man. Eh? Th- that is actually not bad. Ooh. I'm gonna dig in. Go for it. Wow. And you know how Thai people, like, to graduate abroad is it's not the huge, same as graduating. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a brand in itself. I think the pressure of getting the physical work done was a great challenge for me. I wanted to be skilled. I wanted to be good. Chefing is like 95% hard work, okay. grind, and 5% talent. For those who are out there, right now, they're doubting themselves they can actually do it if, if this was actually the route. What would you say to those people? My first advice is, you know, never be content with how hard you work. No matter how hard someone's working, there's always someone who's working twice as hard as you and getting a lot less. Give it 100%. Never chase the money. The money always comes after. And that's so important. Also, positions don't mean anything. They mean absolutely fuck all. It's attached to our culture of being like, you know, where you work, what position are you, you know. Absolutely. But for me, as a chef, don't do that. Pick who you work for, not where you work for. Yes, that's very inspiring. And I, I'm certain that, you know, a few concepts that you mentioned, whether it's do not chase the money, do not chase a title, just work and learn and find the right mentor and not yeah. the where you work, but who you work for. I think these are incredible concepts. It's extremely inspiring to even hear your story. And I couldn't ask for a better way to end this interview. And um, really thank you for your time. No worries. And I cannot wait to try for the first time tonight. Yeah. Congrats, finally wrapped it up, but it's an amazing story. Yeah. Holy crap, this is incredible. Oh, this is incredible as well.